Good morning, everyone, and happy Sunday. So I'm going to be doing another um, update on the World Tournament. I know I was going to do one last night, but we had a bunch of news, and I didn't want to upload like five videos in one night. So we're going to do a morning session with the World Tournament. Um, let's go ahead. I'll just show you my reward slash ranking. Um, so in terms of mission rewards, I've essentially gotten everything except for the 30 million points that I need to get, which I will be working on. I'm definitely going to be hitting that because I'm, I'm going for the top 10,000. But I have all the other rewards as of right now. Um, in terms of ranking, as you can already see, I'm 1,700 from the border um, of 10,000 where I need to be. I need to get at least six more wins. Um, so I think I should be good in getting to the top 10,000. Again, I would still like the top 5,000. Definitely would prefer the top 5,000. But I only need one of those Gohans, honestly, because he's a support unit. I don't need that many. Plus, he's going to be available in future SSR summons, most likely. So I don't have to worry about that. In terms of local rankings, if you guys already know, my LR Piccolo is 100%. Uh, well, not actually 100% dupe system, but he has Super Attack 20 because I got enough of him between the dupes and everything. And I have all of his dupe pads unlocked. So at this point, with this, I'm just going for medals. But at this point in the game, I have enough medals to Doken Waken every Dokenable character available from the world tournament so it's again not a major problem one other thing i did want to show off a little bit just because i have not used guaranteed ssrs um i have what 24 single ssr summons and then i have another 40 uh, individual silver tickets which those silver tickets if you guys do not know if you're new to the game uh five tickets is um essentially one guaranteed ssr so i have eight from there so i have a total of what that's eight plus 24 is 32 so I have 32 SSRs guaranteed from pulling. I might actually go into that just because they added the Bardock and added a couple other characters that I don't have. I really want that uh, Feet Kamehameha Goku. And I think the Kaioken Goku is in here as well. I won't be doing this today though, guys. So, um, yeah, actually, no, the Kaioken Goku, oh, the Kaioken Goku is there. That's what I want. Um, but, yeah, there's a whole bunch of cards in there that I would like to get. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that to, uh, in, during the week of the tournament or not. I might wait for the rewards to get the additional one. I will not be doing the Dragon Ball Summons, though. I'm waiting for the additional SSRs. I don't have all of them, but I'm going to be waiting for those. Anyway, without further ado, you know, just a little bit of standard of where I'm at, what I'm doing, and what my plan is with the World Tournament. Let's go ahead and jump into some actual battles over here. So I'm on a 21 win streak right now. Victory points is one time 1.5. I just finished my 20 straight wins on the 30 time multiplier. As you can see up there, um, we're going again. Now, the 30 time multiplier is a pain in the butt a little bit if you don't have a good team. Obviously, LR Broly is going to, well, not required, but it is highly preferable to have an LR Broly. But if you were the t a person who doesn't have an LR Broly, but you have an Arale, you could run a Super Saiyan 4 Goku with Arale if you have Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And as long as you have some dupe system fed in with her, she should be able to take out um, a lot of the cards on the freaking map. Uh, I mean, even on a 30 time multiplier with Broly, she's taking out a lot of cards on the map. Maybe I'll be able to show her off. Now, as you see on my items, um, all this loads, I have the Sensor Bean, obviously. I have an Orb Changer for Broly for the red key orb manipulation from blue to red. Um... I have a Ghost Usher, and I have uh, I have another item. Oh, the Fruit of the Tree of Might. So we're just going to be using whatever I could utilize to help best myself uh, in the game, better myself in the game in the World Tournament. Now, the Ghost Usher is for when there is uh, people who are about to attack me. Like in this situation, um, let's say because Rosé is right ahead of me. If I didn't have one of these two stunners, and these guys are stunners, if I didn't have either one of those guys, then um, I would have to use a Ghost Usher, and that's why they are there. Uh, anyway, so this is going to be proof of how I'm going about the World Tournament. See, I don't have enough for a Super Attack, and I prefer to use Key Orb Manipulation just because they are cheaper. I purchased them in the Baba Shop, so uh, I prefer to use that over using the Fruit of the Tree of Might. Um, as you'll see here, this is how it's going to go. Now, one other thing I did want to say for a lot of you guys who are playing, um, when you are when you have a Broly, and let's say you use a, an Orb Manipulation item, and you're going to be doing the Ultra Super Attack, focus on an Agility character. Personally, Super Vegito and Rosé are the two characters that typically survive. Some other characters will as well if they're agility, but for the most part, those are the two that always survive with at least half health. So when you're going to get an Ultra Super Attack with Broly, try to select Rosé or Super Vegito. If you have both of them, well, then go for the one that is going to be the first one that's going to attack you, or the, most, the one that's closest to attacking you. So that way you don't get attacked by them. Anyway, that's just something that how, how I see it. Um, I'm doing pretty well with this team. I know this is like kind of, I forgot who found this out on the Reddit a, a while ago on how to run 30 time multiplier. It works very, very, very well. Uh, it, I have not had any problems with this team until at least Bandai fixes the fact that Chiaotzu and um, uh, Jocko stun upon coming onto the field for the first time because I think that's a glitch and that shouldn't actually be a thing. But um, outside of 
uh, th those two cars. And outside of this tournament, I don't really see any other tournaments coming up, uh, at least not, not off the top of my head, that have cards that I'm really going to be anxious to go for. At that point, I might just go for like the, the actual mission rewards. And honestly, at this point, I don't need any Elder Kai's. Uh, because I have so freaking many of them. Uh, stay tuned. I'm not going to do an, a video for the LR Gohan today, uh, just because I, you know, I want. I'm probably going to save that one for tomorrow, and I still have to put together a collab of the ones that I did while, while I was not in front of my computer. Can't I get a freaking LR Broly? Are you serious right now? Um, so this is a problem you may run into if you can't find an LR Broly. Typically, what I'll do, I did just find one, is I will bring a Rose friend just because he is key manipulator or key manipulator. He's key support. So if, especially if he's on the same field with an LR Broly, um, that LR Broly will get a super attack off a little bit easier, and um, they do link together. So that's that's cool. It makes him hit a little bit harder. And when he has that attack buff with um, Rose next to him, chances are he's not going to need to do uh, his second super attack. Chances. I don't really know. It depends on how much health is actually given these guys. One thing that sucks is when they actually start to run away from you. Uh, but yes. Um, also, I did watch that Dragon Ball Super episode last night. That was pretty damn hyped. Can you stop running away from me? Like, I want to freaking go. <laughs> oh, man. This is a pain in the ass. Uh, but yes, um, that, that Dragon Ball Super episode last night was freaking lit, man. I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, we're just going to do this and we're just going to get this over with because it's, it was taking too long for him to keep on running away from me. Uh, there we go. So, there's that. And then we're going to go there. Now, the one thing I do want to say, I think I said this in the video the other day, uh, you want to make sure you get the most key orbs. I, I did actually pay attention to this now. Uh, typically, what they used to do is they would give you like four points per same key orb obtained, and then like one point for the non-same key orb. Now, they're just giving you one point per key orb obtained. So, just go for where the most orbs are after your Broly gets a super attack for whatever character is there. It will give you extra points. At, at that point... It, it's not taking you a longer amount of time. Look at that. Freaking, he's going to kill that Rosé. Now, this is what I was talking about with the Rosé always surviving. Uh, so, he's always going to do a second super attack on them. And then the LR androids as well. Uh, obviously, agility characters aren't going to, you know, they're going to they're gonna survive his initial super attack because he is a strength character. But, um, yeah, and I also did release the video. There is another, there, I guess that uh, Goku that I talked about yesterday that was released on the JB side, the Limit Breaker, or, um, what is it? It's, it's, it's essentially the part of the training that we had told Goku and Vegeta about where each component of the body has its own mind and or that that's what I took it as yesterday when I watched the episode of Dragon Ball Super look at that 15 million points so far awesome I'm halfway to where I need to be so that means I need to get to at least 40 to 50 well, I'd say at 50 if I get 50 wins I might be able to place the top 10,000 we'll see I have a couple days left um, I might not go fully searching on this because um, let's see where we're gonna go we're gonna go you know what we're we're just going to go ahead and take the 100% Rosé Friend. I definitely have enough here for me to uh, get to where I need to be, because I'll definitely have some stun. Between the stunners and the uh, Ghost Ushers, my Broly should be fine. And yeah, Broly is going to be the one round where I could use a Ghost Usher. But yeah, um, that Goku who mastered that form, whatever the heck that was called, uh, he has a semi-farm. He's not, Well, I think he's actually farmable. He's a farmable super tech. He might be semi-farmable, um, but I'm pretty sure it's an SR variant of him, so you guys will be able to get that. Again, I am not much of a JP player because I need to focus my uh, gaming on one or the other. Like I can't, I can't well out on both games, and I can't spend the time. I also play Bleach Brave Souls. Uh, I play that a lot, actually. Uh, so I, you know, let me know down in the comments below. I know this is uh, probably not going to be a too hype video, so I'm not going to have a lot of people coming on just to watch me play the World Tournament. But for those of you who are here, would you be interested in seeing a um, me start doing some content with the? Um, with Bleach Brave Souls, because I do have a lot of characters. I don't have all the manga characters. I only got the the, the new Byakuya that was available. Um, I wasn't really a big fan of the Byakuya, but you know what? I, I had to do get what I can get. Um, I did use about 1,750 orbs, and that was what all, everything I saved up. Between saving up, grinding out some of the missions, and everything else in the game, um, I did a lot, and I only got one freaking <laughs> actual card. I'm a little bit upset about that, actually. I really, really wanted to get the, um, uh, the, the freaking Toshiro, because I think he's a freaking badass character. But uh, yeah, let me know if you want to start seeing some gameplay of that. I'll, I'll start throwing that up there. Uh, essentially, there's a boss rush type thing that's going on right now. So it's uh, I have some pretty OP characters that, that can take them on. And I'll, I'll throw that up on here if you want as well. I know my channel is specifically for Dokkan Battle, but I figure you need to start branching out into other categories. But 
Uh, that's the World Tournament grind right now, guys. As you can see, I finished up with the final. I'm on 22 uh, consistent wins. Um, I plan on... The, the tournament ends in two days, so I have two more days to grind. Like I said, I'm going to try and go for the top 10,000. 5,000 would be preferable, just so I can get the bottom right dupe path unlocked, but I'm probably never going to feed any dupe system into that guy anyway. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know how you're doing in the World Tournament. Are you just going for the mission rewards? I know a lot of you had commented in my last video, you're just going for the missions. I even checked that on Facebook. Everyone's saying the same thing. No, I'm just going for mission rewards. There's no point in grinding out the World Tournament. Personally, I think the reward is worth it because he's a good support unit. But again, let me know if you guys plan on doing it. What, what is your goal? What is your ranking uh, that you're trying to attain? Again, top 10,000 for me, pre preferably 5,000, but I'm not going to grind my butt off because, you know, I do want to do other things. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Make sure to punch that like button, and I'll catch you guys later.